better off with you So what the fuck is going on YouTube? <laughs> it's actually been a little while since I've had a recent vlog and I say that nearly every vlog because it has. I used to have usually about five, four or five like vlogs backed up to upload and I didn't upload in about two weeks and now they're all gone. Any of my younger subscribers out there that are going to be looking into getting bikes don't get into bad habits with gear. It's fucking stupid. It's really, really, really stupid. Like, I don't have my boots on. And in my accident, the boots saved my foot. And I know a lot of you are like, why the fuck do you not just wear them? Because I'm an idiot, that's why. <laughs> I am an idiot. You get into these habits. It doesn't matter how long you're riding. It doesn't matter how long off after an accident you've had. It doesn't matter how many accidents you have. If you got into the habit of not wearing gear, you're not going to wear gear. Like a lot of people, like especially, I'm going to say like America and all those other countries where it's hot. Where you can afford not to wear a jacket or a hoodie. They wear t-shirts because it's so hot. You know, I can kind of understand that. You know, it's so hot, you're not really going to want to wear a jacket. But a jacket is one piece of gear that I'll always wear. I've only ever wore, not worn my jacket about three times and that was once because, no, twice because I was going in to get this jacket and I had no room to put my other jacket and I was only going like 10 minutes up the road so but for well, Americans especially and even the subscribers that I watch oh my god this guy's going slow they, ha they have an accident and they say they say fuck this I'll gear all the time they do that for about a month and then they're back wearing a t-shirt again because they're already popping out to the shops or something but then that starts the thing, that starts it again. You know, your gear is what's gonna protect you. And yes, I know, at this moment of time, I am a hypocritical cunt. <laughs> no, I'm being real hypocritical about it. That's why I said I'm hypocritical. Because I'm telling you guys to wear the all the gear all the time. And I'm, at the moment, I don't have all the gear. I do have a, what I'm wearing it is though, I'm wearing a pair of uh, chick high tops and um, you get what model you are if that's what you'd use but they're a uh, they're a pair of adidas or adidas um high tops really 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 thick good high tops they are basketball uh high tops not basketball shoes but the ones that are kind of uh, designed for like your court use if you're not into your spending your money on your jays so style uh, so if I do come off, they are gonna they are gonna stand up because they are leather and other materials that I presume that are the best quality in China. You know they will withstand uh, sliding on the road a little bit, uh, but they will not protect me from getting crushed from like my my foot getting crushed like like what happened to me. They won't stand up against that at all. They're only a pair of flimsy shoes. <laughs> No, like at least the boots I have have a metal plate on them that absorbed all that impact. If you're a young rider, if you haven't even started riding yet, or if you are about to start riding, you know, buy all the gear and fucking wear it. You know, like what I'm going to do, and you can do the same. You can have casual gear, you can have a pair of motorcycle branded boot, like shoes, like uh, what I'm getting, the Alpine Star shoes. They're waterproof, they have protection for the ankle, uh, so they're, they'd be a lot better than me wearing my high tops and I'll get a pair of them if you're not going to be wearing shoes or if you're not if you don't want to wear boots I have but I have a pair of Kevlar's you know I don't, I don't I'm not wearing my um, my textiles at the moment because they're just too big and thick uh, at this moment when it starts to get colder I'll stick a thermal liner in them and then I'll be wearing them all the day all the time but up until that point I have my Kevlar's which I stupidly have the knee padding out. These come with knee and hip padding. I took the knee padding out because uh, I, I was wearing them for a long period of time, like walking. And the, the Velcro that holds it together rubs off my leg and it actually cut my leg. And a while ago when I had them, it actually gave me an effective cut because it cut it and then all the, the fluff and material from the jeans went into it and it wasn't fucking nice. So I talked about it and I completely forgot about them and I haven't put them back in. 
But you know, it's stupid shit like that. You know, like those knee pads. In my very first accident I had, before I started this YouTube, was I low-sided. And I got dragged along the rut of a ditch. Low side and the bike just went, because it was at a really steep corner on gravel. I was only riding a few days. Um, and I hit the gravel patch and it was re it really was, at that moment it was unavoidable. I'm not going to get into too many details, but it was unavoidable. And even still looking back at it, I'm like, there's nothing I could have done to get out of that, you know. Unless I went like fucking zero miles an hour and just clutched it, which would have been stupidly dangerous because it's right on a blind fast bend. They, the knee pad saved my knee. They took most of the absorption of the impact. Like my Kevlar's were worn straight to, true. Uh, the knee pad had a bit of a scuff on it. Also a good thing about the knee pads, if you ever get caught in a bit of rain, you'll know if, when you, if you drive a bike, your knees are the first thing that gets soaking. Because they're out in the open and they're tight. So when the rain hits it, it just goes, oh I got something to stick to, it sticks to it. If you have the knee pad in, you're not going to get as wet through your other layer. So like I have a pair of tracks bottoms on underneath, because they're comfortable. Uh, if it was to rain out, they'd get soaked and everything else. I kind of just wanted to blab on about that a little bit. Just don't get into bad habits. Listen to all of us moto vloggers when we tell you to wear the gear. Because, you know, we drive bikes, we do know what we're on about. And it's the fact we're telling you to wear all the gear because we're being stupid and not wearing some part. You know, because at the end of the day, regardless of how small I am, and I know I have a lot of young subscribers, I am an influence to all you guys. You know, that's just <coughs> that's the, the fact of life. Someone older than you doing something that you love is going to be an influence. Influence. That's just the way it's going to be. So I don't want to be a bad influence. So where are your gear? Don't have any stupid habits. That's it. And I'll talk to you on the next video.